To create an outline that represents the inner boundary of the connector shroud, on the Setup menu, select Set Origin. Move the origin to the center of the pin array so that you can use a matching set of coordinates to specify the opposite corners of the rectangle and reference them to the center of the decal. On the Tools menu, click Options. Select Grids, and in the Design Grid area, uncheck Snap to Grid. This will disable Grid Snap and allow the Draw Rectangle command to access off-grid coordinates. Click OK. Click 2D Line. Right-click and click Rectangle. Right-click again and click Width. Set the line width and press Enter. Select the silk screen top layer. Position the pointer at the upper left corner of the outline by typing the coordinates using the S modeless command and press Enter. Without moving the pointer, press the space bar to accept the location as the first corner of the rectangle. In a similar manner, enter the coordinates for the opposite corner of the rectangle. To create an outline that represents the outer boundary of the connector shroud, click 2D Line. Right-click and click Rectangle. Enter the coordinates to position the pointer at the upper left corner of the outline and press Enter. Without moving the pointer, press the space bar. In a similar manner, enter the coordinates for the opposite corner of the rectangle. To create a representation of the polarization notch, click 2D Line. Right-click and click Rectangle. Position the pointer at the location that represents the upper left corner of the polarization notch using the S modeless command and press Enter. Without moving the pointer, press the space bar to accept the location as the first corner of the rectangle. In a similar manner, enter the coordinates for the opposite corner of the rectangle. To create the pin number one indicator, on the drafting toolbar, click 2D line. Right click and click path. Position the pointer at the location that represents the lower left end of the triangle V by using the S modeless command and press enter. Without moving the pointer, press the space bar to accept the point as the first location for the shape. In a similar manner, enter the coordinates for the other points of the triangle. When finished, right-click and click Complete.